All right, we have our excessive heat warning in effect statewide today, tomorrow, and even into Sunday. Furthermore, an air quality alert for today. Uh, so as we break down our headlines for you, we are talking about, uh, first and foremost, this is a very warm month, July of 2019 so far. All but one day, and this was yesterday, of course, that was below average. Every other day this month has been at or above average temperature-wise, and we're on track, say, if the month were to end today, to be the hottest July since records have been kept. And we obviously have some extreme heat as we head through the next couple of days, and then some cooler weather on tap. Uh, so a lot of time between now and the end of the month, so we'll keep you updated on how that pans out. But our, our heat wave that kicks off today is going to be our third one of the year and also the hottest of 2019. And 100 degree heat is likely away from Long Island Sound. And the last time we hit 100 was back in 2012 uh, at Bradley International. And the high humidity, of course, that's going to create heat index values tomorrow and Sunday up to around 105 to 110 degrees. So at least early warning pinpoint Doppler, uh, it is scanning clear and dry. No thunderstorms or uh, rain threats as we head through the coming hours, at least for our afternoon. That may change a bit later on this evening for portions of northwest Connecticut. And along the shoreline, we've got temperatures not too bad. They're comfortable now in the mid-70s. Inland, close to the 80-degree mark, but they'll continue to climb as well as the dew point values as we head through the afternoon, uh, anywhere from, say, the upper 60s to low 70s here in the noon hour. So we've got the south-southwesterly wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So future cast bringing these dew point values well into the low and mid-70s as we head through the afternoon, just adding to that level of distance comfort as the humidity is just going to be downright oppressive. So our, our eye can view from Hartford showing we do have some sunshine after some early, early morning clouds. Clouds linger though over New Haven uh, and much of south central and southwestern Connecticut, but they'll be eroding as the afternoon progresses. So we are forecasting temperatures eventually to climb into the 80s along the shoreline and into the low and mid 90s across the interior Connecticut. But factoring that high humidity again, it's going to feel more like 100 if not even better than that. So throughout the northeast again, pretty quiet right now. Some of that lingering cloud cover across portions of southwest Connecticut. And we are looking for some storms to develop off to our northwest and then they'll likely fall apart by the time they reach southern New England later on this evening. Perhaps an isolated shower or rumble of thunder western and northwest Connecticut later on this evening. So uh, we've got temperatures as warm as the low 90s near the nation's capital. So that's the warm air that's going to be heading up in our direction. So it's going to be building as we head into tomorrow and sticking around for Sunday as well. Yesterday we had dew point temperatures in the 60s. Now that really muggy air mass to our southwest is making its way into Connecticut. And again, that's going to be with us all weekend long. Too. So future cast breaking down this afternoon, showing uh, an increasing amount of sunshine, a few clouds at times, thunderstorms to our west, again, falling apart as they head in our general direction later on this evening. Overnight tonight, uh, mainly clear, perhaps a little patchy fog to start our day tomorrow, and then a partly to mostly sunny Saturday is certainly on tap all across Connecticut, and that sunshine is going to help to boost those temperatures up to near record levels. So uh, looking first and foremost at heat index values for this afternoon, climbing to perhaps close to 100, maybe even above as we head toward tomorrow. We'll stop the clock at noon on Saturday, already in the mid 90s in many locations. As we head into the peak of the heating tomorrow afternoon, 105 to 110. We're basically going to do the same thing all over again on Sunday by, say, around 10 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures, what it feels like, heat index values in the mid 90s, heading up to 105 or higher by Sunday afternoon. So the records uh, for tomorrow, the 20th of July, 195 respectively for Hartford and Bridgeport. Uh, so both of those uh, could be in jeopardy as well as the records for Sunday. It's going to be a close call. Uh, so of course tomorrow we'll need 100 to tie, 101 to break uh, the record from 1991. And these are, it's an important year to point out because from 1991, it was July 19th, 20th, and 21st that we had our most intense heat wave on record. Uh, so we're going to rival that uh, with the temperatures we're forecasting over the next couple of days. A cold front moves through on Monday, bringing a chance for rain and thunderstorms and also some cooler air, so our heat wave will end. And uh, by Tuesday, some lingering showers. Morning low temperatures eventually back in the low 60s after being in the low 80s this weekend. And highs eventually through the middle of next week with dry weather in the mid 80s for shoreline highs Saturday 92 then 94 on Sunday.